sternocleidomastoid, we call it sternocleidomastoid. You can see it here, sternocleidomastoid. So the origin for this one is on the sternum in red, on the medial side of the clavicle also in red. And if you follow up here, the muscle runs up like this. It goes in blue, this is the insertion, we call this the mastoid process. That's why we call it sternocleidomastoid. If you look on yourself and you twist to one side, okay, it's this muscle that runs like this. When you contract one side, your head turns this way. When you contract the opposite, your head's going to go the opposite direction. When you do them bilaterally, your head's going to go chin to chest, sternocleidomastoid, okay? Second one is going to be trapezius. So trapezius, right, we call it your traps. This is a big one, okay? All the way down here, all the way out this way, all the way back up. You'll see it a little bit here as well. Trapezius, like this. It has sort of a trapezoid shape to it, okay? So this one, if you look at the posterior side here, okay, from the skull all the way down the vertebrae, the thoracic vertebrae on the, on the spine. So if we turn this around, the origin you'll see in red, right? Right here on the occipital bone. Then we go from the thoracic vertebrae, from T1, these red marks all the way along the spinous process, all the way down to T12. This is all origin, okay? The insertion of this in blue is what you see on the lateral side or the acromial end of the clavicle. And then on the superior side here of the spine of the scapula, okay? So we call this trapezius. Origin is here towards the midline. Insertion is out here. So trapezius does a lot of different things. If you shrug your shoulders, you're activating trapezius. If your head is in the flexed position and you contract this way, you're extending the neck like this. Usually we talk about manipulation of the shoulder up and down. We call that elevation of the scapula. That's trapezius, okay? Next, we're gonna look at deltoid. So this is deltoid right here. This is deltoid here. You can see a little bit of it here as well. Okay, not the full thing here. It actually makes a triangular structure, which is where we get the name delta, like the Greek letter delta. It's an upside down triangle, okay? So this one, if you look here, the lateral side, the lateral side of the clavicle in red, all the way out to the acromion, and then also in red, it goes all the way to the spine of the scapula. So this is all the origin of deltoid. This is the muscle of your shoulder, so it comes down like this and grabs in blue onto the deltoid tuberosity. Deltoid tuberosity. Okay, so this is a multipennate muscle. You can do different movements with it. The easy one to remember is abduction of the arm at the shoulder. So if you abduct your arm at the shoulder, you're contracting this muscle and you're basically pulling up on your humerus. Okay, that's deltoid. And then we also have pectoralis major. Okay, so pectoralis major, big convergent muscle right here, broad, and then it converges into the armpit here. Okay, this is pectoralis major, big muscle of your chest. So the origin is going to be along here, the insertion is going to come this way. If we look at our origin and insertion skeleton, you'll see in red, this is all pec major. We come up to this medial side on the anterior side of the clavicle, this is pectoralis major comes all the way like this and grabs onto your humerus. So if you look at this intertubricular groove, that's how you know you're looking at the anterior side of the humerus. Just on the lateral side of that intertubricular groove, you'll see pectoralis major. So origin is here, insertion is here, okay? When you are doing push-ups on the floor or you're bench pressing, you're exercising your chest, but you're moving your humerus. Okay, same thing if you're bringing your arm in medial like this, okay? So we call this adduction, okay? Adduction of the arm at the shoulder. Last one I want to mention here is latissimus dorsi, okay? So latissimus dorsi, this is a big muscle of the back, big muscle of the back here, all right? So this one, you see it tucked underneath here. It starts at L7, pardon me, T7, and it goes all the way down to L5, 
and runs right on top of that sacral crest. It does this through the uh, thoracolumbar fascia here, okay? In addition to that, you'll see it coming here. It, it kind of comes up on the ribs. I'll show you in the skeleton, grabs the scapula, and it also heads into the arm, okay? So this is latissimus dorsi, big muscle like this at the back. Again, if we look at the skeleton, you'll see latissimus dorsi, latissimus dorsi running down here as well, right down this median sacral crest. This is all latissimus dorsi in red. These are the origins. Also in red, right along here on that iliac crest, you'll see latissimus dorsi grabbing these lower ribs here and comes all the way up to this inferior angle of the scapula. Okay, so big muscle right here. It's got its origin here. This one comes on the inside. Spin this guy around. Also, that intertubricular groove. But now we're looking at the medial side right here. So it comes on your back, reaches up into your armpit. Its insertion in blue is right here. So think about what exercise you could do for this one. If you're pulling yourself up on a bar, okay, we call that drawing the arms inferiorly. You're exercising your back, but you're moving your humerus around. Also, if you're rowing like this, you're drawing the arms posteriorly. You're exercising your back, but you're moving your humerus. Origin on the posterior side of the back, insertion on your humerus.